Thanks. Speaking of heavy size, we're going to get snow today. That's a nuisance. Here's another one for you. Bugs, and we're talking big ones. Cicadas, which are set to come out in force this summer. Yeah, after living underground for 17 years, the singing cicadas are going to begin to emerge. And then they're going to start eating plant life everywhere. Here to tell us more is Dr. Jim Fredericks. He is the chief entomologist and VP of technical and regulatory affairs for the National Pest Management Association. <laughs> wow, that is quite the title Ooh. there. I didn't think I was going to get through that. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And you thought singing cicadas was hard to say. <laughs> yeah, seriously. All right, well, tell us a little bit about these uh, cicadas. For those who have never maybe even seen them or encountered one, why is this summer going to be significant? Well, this summer we're going to have the emergence of the brood 10 cicadas. And this is one of the largest emergences uh, that we that we see um, throughout the east coast from philadelphia to atlanta and then in the midwest all throughout indiana and then in some of the eastern central counties of illinois we're going to be seeing billions of cicadas emerging on mass over the course of just a couple of weeks they're going to begin singing mating laying eggs it's going to be spectacular <laughs> well, the one thing you Only forgot an to mention. Only entomologist would say that, Yeah, right? <laughs> the one thing you forgot to mention, and dying all over our yards and on our porches and yeah. decks, they're everywhere. Uh, let's talk about where we're going to find them in mass. Is it more of a, is this more of a city problem, or are we going to see it out in the burbs as well? Um, it's, it's it, you know, depending on where you are in the world, um, this, this is going to be a big deal. But in Chicago, um, I, you, we're not going to be seeing an emergence this year. Um, so in, in the city and right around, right around the city, um, you can the forecast for your cicadas is going to be 2024. That's brood 13. Uh, brood 10 will be emerging um, probably like Edgar Clark County. So eastern central parts of the state. Oh, okay. So if uh, you're traveling, you are going to see those start to pop up. All right. How long do they stick around? Um, tell us a little, little bit about what they eat. Uh, I, I would imagine some people are concerned about their flowers and their crops. Sure. Um, and, then, you know, naturally, when we see large emergences of large insects, um, it creates a sense of, in some people, fear and disgust. In other people, it creates, you know, a sense of astonishment and wonder. Um, and so uh, we do, pest control professionals actually do get calls regarding cicadas. And uh, it turns out that cicadas, unlike other pests like cockroaches or bed bugs or termites, are not a pest. They're not gonna cause harm. They're not gonna bite or sting. They could cause a little bit of damage to newly planted trees when the females lay their eggs, but otherwise we shouldn't expect to see any real damage. Um, what's going to be happening is as the, the soil temperatures warm up, uh, these cicadas will begin emerging from the ground. The soil temperature needs to be 64 degrees at eight inches deep. Um, these cicadas have been underground for the last 17 years, feeding on tree roots. So if you can imagine, these cicadas that will be emerging throughout the country this year, um, were, were they hatched from eggs when this year's uh, graduating high school seniors were just infants. Oh wow! Been, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, so it's so it's really exciting as we as we see these <clears throat> emerge. They'll be gone uh, before July. We would expect probably a mid May emergence. They'll last for four to six weeks, and then, like you mentioned, they'll just be uh, cicada uh, the remains of those cicadas to clean up after we're gone. Perspective is everything. You use the word exciting. I'd use another word, but uh, I won't. I'll get in trouble. So Jim Fredericks, <laughs> chief entomologist uh, at National Pest Management Association. I abbreviated your title there. Thanks so much for joining us, and I'm sure we'll see you again as we approach 2024. Thanks. All right.